everyone welcome back to a new lesson I am Neharika and you know I was thinking that out of all the grammar rules that we have in English language the plural form is the most straightforward one if it's one thing it's singular if it's more than one thing it's plural but then you know English language never fails to surprise us there are certain nouns that are always in the plural form really is that true well yes it is so that's what this lesson is all about we are gonna look at some nouns here which only have plural form or be it one thing or more than one it's always plural so let's get started with it now if you see I have an expression here a pair of now there are certain nouns okay which are made up of two parts so for such nouns very often we end up using the expression a pair of so which refers to a thing that is made up of two parts so we have a noun here shoes now shoes will be always in the plural form even if you end up buying one pair of shoes the reason because you have two parts one for the left and the other one for the right leg right foot right so it's a pair of shoes I end up buying a new pair of shoes another one is lenses again the word lenses whether you end up buying one pair of lens or you buy a lot more it's always gonna be lenses okay another one is earrings Wow that's a beautiful pair of earrings you're wearing so be it one pair of earrings or be it two it's always gonna be earrings it's always gonna be in the plural form another word here jeans or denims in fact I've noticed almost all kind of clothes that go below your waist are in the plural form so I bought a pair of jeans I bought a pair of denims um, I bought a pair of shorts um, those are nice knickers you're wearing so those are those nice knickers you're wearing wow I love these shorts so they all are in the plural form even if it's one it is in the plural form I bought new trousers I bought new pants um, I bought a new pair of pan underpants okay so they all are in plural form so almost all the kind of clothes that you wear below your waist are in plural forms mm, except for skirt you would not end up saying I bought a skirt you would always say if you buy one skirt it's gonna be I bought a skirt but if you buy two skirts you're gonna say that I bought two skirts okay then we have gloves hey have you seen my pair of gloves so again even if it's one pair of gloves it's always gonna be gloves it's always gonna be plural all right then we have another noun here scissors have you heard some people saying hey can you please help me with a scissor that's wrong it's totally incorrect even if it's one scissors it's gonna be scissors okay could you pass me a pair of scissors or these are my scissors so even if it's one it's always gonna be in the plural form as scissors okay so you got it right these are certain nouns wherein you can use the expression a pair of the reason because it refers to a thing that is made up of two parts okay now here in the orange we have some more nouns for you which are always in plural let's get started with it the first one is clothes Ooh, your clothes are dirty so even if it's just the shirt which is dirty you would end up saying your clothes are dirty you would not say your cloth is dirty incorrect 
Or if you just particularly want to say that your shirt is dirty, then you're going to end up saying shirt because it's just one shirt that the person is wearing. But if you're using the word clothes, it's always going to be in the plural form. Okay? Have you seen my headphones? Have you seen my headphone? That's wrong. You're always going to use headphones, the plural form. Another one, outskirts. I live on the outskirts of the city. You will not say, I live on the outskirt of the city. It's always going to be outskirts. I live on the outskirts of the city. Stairs. I'm so tired. I took up the stairs. So it's always going to be stairs. The noun stairs doesn't have a singular form. Okay. The singular form is the plural form that is stairs. Okay. So, what kind of goods does your company produce? So, goods, are you going to end up asking what kind of good your company produces? Incorrect, right? So, the word goods is always in the plural form. What kind of goods does your company produce? Okay? And then savings. I have a lot of savings. I have a lot of saving. Incorrect. You're going to say, I have a lot of savings or I ended up spending all my savings for the trip to America. Okay. So savings is also another noun which is in the plural form. So I hope this is clear to you. It's not a lesson to confuse you. It's just for your knowledge that yes, in English language, we do have certain nouns which are always in the plural form. And I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care. This is so good. I love it. What? I love pizza. It's just amazing. Are you commenting about my weight? About what I'm eating? You think I am getting fat? Stop looking at my waistline. I don't like it. Well, you're always complaining about my weight about what I eat, the kind of clothes that I wear. Just give me a break, please. Stop body shaming me. So friends, does that happen to you as well? Well, people pass negative comments about your body, about your body weight, or about the kind of food that you eat. Well, that's body shaming. So what's body shaming? Well, there are people around us who humiliate us or criticize our body, uh, talk about our body weight, the kind of food that we eat and constantly commenting about the kind of clothes that we wear. Well, yes, that's body shaming. So how do you deal with such people? Well, it's time to have a look at our session on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Has anyone ever called you fake? Meaning, have they come up to you and said something like, you're so fake, I don't trust you. Or worse still, have you felt like a fake person? Well, it happens to the best of us. And you know what? That's not the way ahead in life. We all need to develop our originality and learn how not to be fake. Which is why I've made this fantastic video for you, which goes like this, how to be original and never be fake. So make sure you come on over to Skillopedia and with me, Rima, learn how you can be original, true to yourself and successful. You don't love me. Ah, I was in the same situation too. It's not fair. Do you use any of these sentences? That's the problem. These are some phrases that smart people don't use. And if you want to sound smart while you're talking to somebody, then you should kick these phrases and pick up 
the alternative phrases that I am going to tell you in the session today. So watch this complete session on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world, to sound smarter while talking. My name is Michelle. 